My name is Tim Mansky, and I'm going to show an example of graphing the equation x plus y equals negative 6. Um, I'm going to use a couple different techniques to illustrate how we can graph this equation. Uh, one way we can do this is write the equation in slope intercept form. And that is where you solve for y. So you have y equals mx plus b. Now in this example here, I have the equation x plus y equals negative 6. All right, the equation is not written in slope-intercept form. What I need to do here is I need to solve for y. In order to solve for y, I need to get rid of, I need to move the x over to the other side. The way I can do that is minus x from both sides. By doing that, on the left hand side I can use a commutative property. And as a result, what will happen is the x's are going to cancel out, leaving me just y. I have negative 6 minus x. That can be written as uh, negative x minus 6. You can move these around. Um, again, if you don't see a number in front of the variable, we can, the value is 1. So when I try to find the slope, okay, it's the number in front of the x. And in this case, it's going to be negative 1, or written as a fraction, negative 1 divided by 1, meaning that it has a negative slope, so the behavior of the graph is going to go in a downward motion. Um, I can identify the y-intercept. which is going to be the coordinate 0 comma b and our b value in this case is going to be 0 comma negative 6. Now the other way you can find the y-intercept is setting x equal to 0. So, for example, if you're asked to find the y-intercept for the equation, um, you would set x equal to 0. So, like, for example, if you had the original equation x plus y equals negative 6, uh, what you would do is you replace x with 0, and then you would end up with uh, y equals negative 6. So, again, if you're setting x equal to 0, the y value would be negative 6. Um, if you wanted to find the x-intercept, you would set y equal to 0, and then you would solve for x. So again, taking the original equation, uh, x plus y equals negative 6, um, I would take the equation, replace y with 0, and then I would have the value x equals negative 6. So in this case, the x-intercept is going to equal the x-coordinate would be first, which is negative 6, comma, 0. So I got the x-intercept, I got the y-intercept, I know what the slope is. Uh, you can find ordered pairs. Uh, let's say, for example, Uh, you're going to find you have the x value 
you may be asked to create a table of values. When, when creating a table of values, uh, you pick a value for x or y. So like for example, let's say x is going to equal 1. You can choose a value that you want to work with. Because here what we're doing is we're creating a table of values. So what you could do is say, all right, let x equals 1. So because what we're doing is we're taking the original equation here, replace x with 1, and then go through the process of solving for y. Like for example here, in my step, next step would be um, minus 1 from both sides. Let's go move this over a little bit. And what will happen that the the ones are going to cancel out. And what will happen here as a result is you, the y's would cancel, so you have y equals negative 7. Let's think of it as taking negative 6 plus negative 1, which would give you negative 7. So my y value would equal negative 7. So my coordinate would be 1 comma negative 7. Um, you can pick a value, either for x or y. So like say, for example, you want to say let y equals 1. You can then go back to the original equation. And you can say let y equals 1. And from there, you solve for x. So like for example, in your next step, minus 1 from both sides. You can also think of it as adding a negative 1 to both sides if you want to think of it like adding a negative 1. But what will happen is that the 1's will cancel out. And then x would equal negative 7. So you have these two ordered pairs. You got negative 7 comma 1 and you have 1 comma negative 7. Um, so there's a variety of ways to graph this equation. So this will review what we have so far. We took the original equation. We put it in slope intercept form to identify the slope which is negative 1, the y intercept which is 0 negative 6, we use the technique to find the x-intercept. In this case, the x-intercept is going to be negative 6 comma 0. Uh, we created a table of values where we chose x equals 1, y equals negative 7, and we came up with an ordered pair. And then the same thing, we found where y equals 1, x equals negative 7, and we came up with another ordered pair, negative 7 comma 1. Now let's graph the equation. I'm going to use um, another table. So if you're using Microsoft Word, you can go to Insert, Table. I'm going to insert a table. I like to use the dimensions 20 by 20. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, I'm going to put this on a new page. So again, the equation was x plus y equals negative 6.
from our original equation there. Okay, so taking this grid here, just make it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to draw an x axis and a y axis. And again, you want to overlap the somewhere in the middle. I'm going to choose a line with a double arrow. Okay. Um, I like a bolder color. Um, here. There's a button for the double arrow again. And again, you know, a careful hand. You can right click on the arrow. You can format the shape by its width. I like to go with three points. I like to change the color so it's black. Close that out. Uh, make some circles. I always like to put the circle up just above the grid here because we're going to make several ordered pairs. Um, I usually just make one dot. Click on the dot, ordered pair, right click, copy, and then click again. Probably easiest if you just press the control button and press V. I like to use several points. Take each ordered pair. Now remember we started with a Y intercept I had negative six. So this is the Y axis. Go down to uh, one, two, three, four, Six. Uh, the x-intercept was zero, negative six. Okay. So I graph the y-intercept, the x-intercept. We had when x was one, the y-value was negative seven. We said that when x was negative 7, the y value is 1. And again, it may not be 100% perfect, but you know, get in the general vicinity. Using the slope, if you remember, the slope was negative 1 over 1, meaning that the line is going to go in a downward motion. It's going to go down 1 over 1. So I'm going to take another point. There. The more points you use, the better your pattern is going to emerge. Remember, from each point, the slope is going down one over one for this particular example. Uh, once you've established several points, you want to then draw a line through these points. the line going through all the points it may not be 100% perfect but it's pretty good right click format again I go three points go to color okay so let's review what we did here we started out with the equation uh, y equal, or excuse me, x plus y equals negative 6. Different techniques we use to come up with the information. Uh, wrote the equation in slope intercept form. That's where you're solving for y and identifying the slope and the y intercept.
Remember, the slope was negative 1 over 1. Y intercept was negative 6. I also used the technique where I found the X intercept, setting Y equals 0 and solving for X. And I also created a table of values, choosing a value for X, choosing a value for Y, solving for the other coordinate, and it's stating uh, the ordered pair. After I had all that information, then I went to creating a grid, a rectangular coordinate system. And then there, from the rectangular coordinate system, I was able to plot the points, draw a line through those points. Uh, and again, on the Word document, you could add any of the comments. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, otherwise, take care and have a nice day.